if you listen to the show, you know this is one that I've been really excited to see how you know some of these position battles shake out and not just on the tail end of the depth chart i was hoping that we would see some action from the starters just to kind of get a gauge on how this whole new group is coming together and i will say that i was pretty disappointed that we didn't get to see matt collins in this game kind of dealing with a little lingering issue I was really excited to see, you know, the whole new look receiver core together. We didn't get that, but we did get some action from from the starters in Khalil Shakir, Curtis Samuel, uh, throw Keon Coleman in there. And I'll say the, the highlight of this group for me kind of gets shared between Curtis Samuel and Khalil Shakir. Khalil Shakir going three for three for 28 yards and Curtis Samuel two for two for 23 yards. And I think early on we saw Curtis Samuel and kind of his explosiveness on display, his ability to move around the field. And in particular, he had a screen pass early that was kind of one of these it was like a jailbreak screen type deal that we saw the Bills try to run a lot with Diggs last year. We didn't have a ton of success there. And to be able to see that wide rescre- wide receiver screen early and Curtis Samuel just explode and get up the field and get extra yards with it uh, was super exciting. And I, I have to say I'm, I'm super excited stoked for what I think Curtis Samuel is going to be in this offense. Very similar feeling with Khalil Shakir, and he kind of picked up right where he left off. And I did have slash do have a little bit of concern of, you know, Shakir kind of blowing up towards the tail end of last year. And, you know, is this the Gabe Davis situation type deal over again where we're really impressed with what he's done, so we're going to kind of promote him sooner than we planned on, and, you know, when he goes from being the number four option to the number two option, whatever, we see the numbers fall off a little bit. Didn't look like it in this game, and, you know, he runs super clean routes, He's he gets separation, he's getting open, and then he's got like the sneaky explosiveness too. So he's kind of a similar skill set to Curtis Samuel. And I think one of the things with Khalil Shakir is he's he's been like such a good possession receiver for us. It's like easy to forget that he also has that explosive speed. I'm really excited to see what kind of those skill sets and how they match up with Matt Collins and Keon Coleman as we get into more action and them being more size guys. And, you know, even on the screen plays, having them be able to get out front for, you know, blocking for these wide receiver screens and such. Um, So excited about the top end of, of the receiving core there. 